Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the Google Gboard floating keyboard on your Android device. So first of all, make sure that you have the latest version of Gboard. You can find Gboard on your Google Play Store. So just uh, search for Google uh, Gboard and then install it. And if it's already installed, uh, make sure it's uh, updated on your Android device. So once you have the updated version of Gboard on your Android device, you can open any app which uh, requires the editing tool. So I am just opening the notepads and it's going to uh, just uh, uh, show you this uh, Gboard uh, keyboard, right? So what you need to do is on the Gboard uh, keyboard, you need to press these three dots which are on the right hand side so just press the three dots and when you press the three dots you will see uh, all these options what you need to do is you just need to uh, click on the option which says floating so i'm going to just press on the floating option and this is going to enable the floating uh, uh, gboard keyboard on your android device i can move this keyboard by just pressing this uh, button here and I can move it anywhere on my Android uh, screen. And if I want to uh, just uh, resize the size of this Gboard, I can uh, just uh, move these corners which are highlighted to uh, just minimize this keyboard or you can uh, uh, increase the size of this uh, Gboard keyboard using these corners from here. So you can see I'm just uh, reducing the size and increasing the size using these corners. Now once you are done with the floating Gboard keyboard, you can uh, just fix it using just uh, this uh, button once again and just drag to the bottom. So just drag to the bottom and once you drag it to the bottom, it will be fixed once again. And if you want to use this floating feature on your uh, Gboard frequently, then what you can do is you can once again uh, click those three dots and then you can move this floating uh, option into your favorites here. So whenever you want to uh, just make the floating Gboard keyboard, then just press this floating option and it's going to work from the shortcuts also, okay? So this is how you can enable or disable the Gboard floating keyboard on your Android device. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.